Hi and thank you for clicking on our video. This is Real Men Fishing and today I have got something completely different for you. This isn't a normal standard Real Men Fishing episode but I thought why not go through my top five fishing videos made from other people that have inspired me to take my camera out and start filming for real men. So what better way to do that than give all these guys a great big shout out. I also want to give a shout out to Legendary Zone 2431 who has been our biggest fan since day one. He keeps liking every single video we've made. He's one of our first subscribers I believe and he comments on absolutely everything and I want you to know that I really do appreciate that. But let's get on with the video today starting with number five. And who else could it be but the man, the legend, Mr. John Wilson. Oh yes, now the reason I picked John Wilson is simply because he's one of the first memories I ever have of anything to do with fishing. I used to sit there on a Sunday night, I think it was, and tune into Channel 4 and watch good old go fishing. Now if you're gonna watch anything from John Wilson, go and watch the Dream Bream fishing episode. Because my God, I think even to this day, no one has managed to catch Bream on video like John Wilson did. <laughs> I'm gonna rename this Dream Lake. Dream Lake. That is a, shall I say it? That is a clunker. <laughs> In at number four is Mr. Matt Hayes. Now he is the next generation of John Wilson in my eyes and he dominated the TV with fishing programs not too long ago. And one of my favorite episodes and series of Matt Hayes was a 24 hour rod race. Now I love the stuff he does with Mick, but to be honest with you, on the 24 hour rod race, I just think some of the filming in that was absolutely stunning. And one of my favorite episodes from that series was when he went down and caught some big old perch. It's not far off three pound though. I can't believe the quality of this fishing. It's, it's the fishing of your dreams really. You don't get chances like this very often in your life. So I'm certainly making the most of it. Three. In at number three is a passion for angling. Now this series was just amazing. It is literally like listening to a fishing storybook. Stick this on half an hour before you go to bed. And honestly, it's not like any other fishing program out there. It's literally like going on a fishing trip in your own house. These creatures are over 60 years old. Their brains steeped in the laws of survival. So for the angler who hopes to turn the myth into a monster, this Now in at number two is Carl and Alex. Now if you haven't already seen some of Carl and Alex's stuff, head straight over to their YouTube channel now and check them out. I believe they've got two channels going at the moment and one of my favorite episodes is from Carl and Alex Extra, which is where they go and catch as many species as they possibly can, but in micro form. You're gonna see tent, you're gonna see carp, you're gonna see bream in the tiniest form ever. And I believe I haven't seen anything like that anywhere else. Yeah, it's the tent in January. I wasn't really expecting to catch the tent today, just, well, it's January, so it's been quite cold recently. The lakes were frozen over last week, so I didn't really think they'd be feeding, but there's plenty of them in here, and they've definitely got onto the maggots that I've been throwing in. But let's hope we'll catch plenty more species. And in at my number one spot, is the Totally Awesome Fishing Guys. Now they have so much content on their YouTube channel right now, and it's such a variety of fishing. There's sea fishing, there's lake fishing, and they'll show you how to catch fish in so many different ways. They even catch carp on roast dinner, for God's sake. I mean, who else has even tried that? Sometimes fishing can be taken just a little bit too seriously, I think but these guys really bring it back home and aren't afraid to try different things to catch fish. And they're gonna show you how they do it. And I'll tell you now, nine times out of 10, they're pretty damn successful. So head straight over there and check out the Totally Awesome Fishing Guys. And if I would recommend anyone, 
I would recommend catching carp on peas. It really did blow my mind. Guys, that's what I'm talking about. Peas. <laughs> Do they work? I lost a really big fish early on. Big fish. Came right in the margins. And this is not a small one. Anyway, a great fish on an Avon rod. Single hook, single BB. He's still lively and kicking. I can't get the camera. This is going to be the only shot I get, guys, because it's tipping with rain. A great fish. Pleased with that. Great scrap. Unbelievable scrap. Took me out of the staging and everything. How I never got bust off then, I do not know. Let's get it back, and I've got to get some more peas out there. Now, obviously, this is just my opinion, and it's my top five. These are the guys that have inspired me to make real men, and the guys that have inspired me just to go fishing in the first place. But if you've got any videos you think I should go and have a little look-see at, then drop the link for them down in the comments below. Also, give me a thumbs up on our video, and hit that subscribe button, because it would really help us out. Now, until next time, when I'm down on the fishing bank, I will see you later.